That primary epiphany detonated in my mind like a smart bomb and left me all alone on a desert planet that had only that morning been teeming with people and problems and emotions and history and drama and a million other things that were instantly reduced to fine ash by the spiritual apocalypse that incinerated my world in a brilliant flash of light. After the blast, I found myself stumbling, dazed and shell-shocked through a post-apocalyptic landscape undreamed of by science fiction writers. Civilizations were reduced to windless deserts. Cities I now saw as blackened craters and people as shadows of smoke. What had been Earth, home, humanity, family, life, could now be most aptly called nothing forever. On his back, looking through the cracks in the sky, sun rounds all drowns in twilight. How did I get here? Here where? Here what? It can't be what it appears to be, though I know it is. It can't really be nothing forever though I know it can't not be. There must be something somewhere, though I know there's not. I have to see. I have to look for myself. Where are the people? The cities? Where are the churches? Where are the statues and icons? Where are the great philosophies and belief systems? Surely they must have survived. Who am I to be here alone. Where are all the smart ones? The ones who seemed so serious, so stable, and deeply rooted and tightly wrapped, so real. Where are the ones with the strong beliefs and complex philosophies? Why aren't they here? Where are the heroes? This is a place where there should be heroic men and women the best of the best should be here. The smartest, the bravest, the most devout, the truest. Where are they? Where are the signs that they've been here? It can't just be me. There must be others. I couldn't believe I was all alone on this desolate planet. So I went off to have a look around. The world is cracked, earth is black, a child with no arms lying on his back, nowhere to go in the middle of this hole, in the middle of the earth spinning out of control. Desert stretches on for one more day The girl pleads to him, don't go away His lips, they move, but got nothing to say He stares blankly through her face Recollection of his brothers as they play Then it was time for the mound to become a mountain again. I spent the next ten years trying to make sense of this new world. A non-world in which a non-I nevertheless seemed to reside. The waking dream state. It was like the world had turned from hard solidity into shimmering mirage. 
I could still see the world I had always known, but I could not find its substance. Whatever I reached out to touch, my hand passed through. Whatever I thought about dissolved in my mind. Whoever I looked at, I saw through like vapor, myself included. I looked at my own character, and it was like a face you see in a cloud for a second before it's gone. the sun I'm running out of blood yeah I'm going on I'm running yeah I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running on empty I'm running through this maze till I reach the sea my heart burns up in a side of me burnt and charred from this desert heat my Inside of me And the pain within Is the pain outside The desert right here Is a reflection of my life Just as brutal as I am The sun Me and this desert We are one My reality now is the awakened Untruth, unrealized state And it's the same for me As for anyone who comes to it there are no masters or novices here. There are no teachings or beliefs. No Hindus or Buddhists or Advaitins. No masters or yogis or swamis. No discorporate entities or higher level energies or superior beings. Awake is awake. This is enlightenment theory. The pure binary mathematics of truth. And it's very simple. As easy as one, two, three. But without the two and the three. I'm laying down at midnight. I ride my bike. King with my broken crown. Brooklyn Bridge to Crown Heights. I'll be by your side. When nighttime it runs on. The children they ride high. She's It's so simple and obvious that you'd have to close your eyes and bury your head not to see it. Specifically, you would need some mechanism by which to generate an energy field around yourself, an artificial micro-environment, a one-man spacecraft with an interactive in-flight movie so engrossing that you could forget that you were floating alone in empty space and believe that you are in a world full of people and drama and meaning. Which is exactly the case. The mechanism by which you accomplish this most remarkable of all feats is a well-oiled combination of emotion and intelligence. Emotion powers the energy field. Maya is the ruling intelligence. The in-flight movie is called Delusion. And this ship in which you aimlessly float through nothing forever is called Ego. And when the soap bubble pops, when Ego is destroyed, when Maya is vanquished, what then? Everything. Who then? No one. They want me to lie down by their side. Are the demons that passed through my life that killed me over a thousand times? I don't run, I don't flee, I don't fight. I don't act dumb and don't shine my light. I don't act numb, I don't flex my might. I sit down on the ground till the time is right. They seek my demise and rely on my dark side to give in to the night. All those desperate ghosts, stuck souls trapped in black.
It should now be clear that there are no cases of instant enlightenment. That awakening is not the result of a single epiphany, but of a long, arduous journey, wherein every step is a long, arduous journey. It should now be obvious that all dogma, beliefs, doctrines, and philosophies are strictly dream state phenomena, with no independent existence in truth. It should now be easy to look at any teacher or teaching, at any book, at any spiritual or religious assertion, and to instantly know its exact and certain value. It should now be easy to look at every internal thought, belief, and emotion, and know without the possibility of error what is real and what is imagined. It should now be clear that there is no room for debate or opinion with regard to what is true and what is false. The distinction is absolute. Truth exists. Untruth does not.